Mary Meat, guys, I'm going to be showing you a ritual that can actually be done for somebody that's very angry. Let's say a spouse or a boss or a cousin or a sister or a kid, your own children. Teenagers especially go through a lot of anger issues, and this is the particular one that I'm working for that. You can do the same thing if, if you're, you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that's very angry and you're trying to calm them down and talk to them. Another thing I want to tell you, if you're working on someone to calm them down, don't pick arguments. So come on, you can't do work and then pick an argument or whatever, right? Just calm. You got to keep them calm whenever you're working on someone, whether it's for love or anything like this <clears throat> or anything at all. So what you're going to need here, you're going to need a blue candle. And I'm using these small little taper candles here. These are perfect for that because they won't burn for a long time. You want to have three of them and you want to work it for three days, okay? And I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. These are already dressed and ready to go. You're going to take your little blue candle. It could be um, light blue as well. This is a little darker. This is what I had, so this is what I'm going to use. And you're going to write the person's name that you want to calm the anger down from the wick all the way down the wick down with their name and their birthday three times. You're going to write their names three times on three candles, and you're going to work it for three days, all right? <clears throat> three, three, three. When you're writing, when you're working on somebody, like right now that I'm doing this work here, you need to put your intention and your energy on it. You're not just going to go get a candle, write your stuff down, put the stuff that I tell you, and then just turn it on and expect for a miracle to happen. No, you need to take your time, and you need to put your energy on there. You need to focus and actually... Just enchant the heck out of this kind of work, all right? Three days in a row. Two of the candles, once the names are really written down, from the wick going down, from the wick going down, you're going to add essentials, four essentials. At least three of those are important. You're going to add rosemary essential, okay, to clear the negative energy that they may be feeling. You're going to add uh, lavender essential to calm them down, to ease them up. You're going to add chamomile essential to heal and to ease them up. You're also going to add either peppermint or spearmint essential. I wanted peppermint, but all I had was, was um, spearmint, so I'm going to go with spearmint. You need a cooling agent. Um, if you have to pick from all those, I would suggest you need to stick with lavender and peppermint. Those are the best ones to use, all right? Uh, those will do everything, but I want to just use these oils here because that these are my intentions. Okay, and they're going to anoint your oils, right? All of them on all the three candles, and you're going to put your energy and your focus on it. <clears throat> Once you have your oils on it, you're going to sprinkle just regular sugar onto your candles all the way around. And that's how you get this here. So you can see it's covered in sugar. That's to sweeten them down, okay? So you're going to light this for three candles. You want to use a white plate, okay? A white plate. doesn't matter if it's oblong or oval or it's a white bowl. As long as it's a white plate, bowl, whatever. Okay? And we're going to light them. Now, we're going to be using a lit blue candle that I already have over here. Okay? So let's go ahead and start. First, we're going to burn the bottom to stand it up. You need to also do this, guys, when the person is asleep or when they're calmed down. Don't do it in the middle of an argument. So let's say the person, you know that they go to sleep by 10 or 11 or maybe they're taking a nap in the middle of the day. Do it at that point. You want to have their, their mind at rest. There we go. Then we're going to light them. And we're asking for their energy to be calm. Whatever may be bothering them, we want to remove it. Remove that negative energy, that negative feeling, that anger, the frustration, the confusion. Whatever it is that they're dealing with right now, this is what we're asking to heal. And this is why we're using these energies with the essentials, the sugar, and the color of the candle. This one's having a hard time because he had a short wick.
you're gonna burn this for three days this was gonna finish up right these are gonna burn down today and then tomorrow you do another three and then the next day you do another three if at that point you still do not see a difference in the person you're gonna then continue three more days up until seven days you know really tough situations and then you just let it be remember if you do this kind of work you need to also not aggravate a situation you need to also not cause arguments or cause bickering or cause this person to get upset remember this is very effective with young people teenagers adolescent pe kids um but you also got to seek counseling and counseling needs to be sought after uh, you need to talk to them you need to keep an open door so that they can speak with you and understand them really go back in time and understand the way you felt when you were a teenager you can't just make assumptions and you know what maybe they're going through something you don't even understand so understand your teenager understand the person that you're arguing with if it's uh, uh your spouse um they may be completely in the wrong but there's a reason why they're doing whatever it is that they're doing or arguing that point I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a very simple video to help adolescents or angry people. Many blessings, guys. I'll see you later.